Today, I'm gonna cover the topic of a wedding MC and how we approach weddings when MCing your event. Today, I'm gonna cover the topic of a wedding MC and how we approach weddings when MCing your event. Wedding MCs can come in a bunch of different varieties and tastes. It really is important to communicate with your DJ what type of wedding MC and what kind of vibe and feel that you would like for your wedding or your special event. The two most popular types of styles that we get requested for are MCs that are just there to make basic announcements. And there are the MCs that are more there to be an entertainer, to get people engaged, involved, especially when it comes to the dance party. Ready, one, two, three. One, two, three. I need more from you. I need more from you. When making basic announcements, we'll announce the event at least three different times. We usually start with the first announcement being 20 to 15 minutes before the event is actually going to happen. Second announcement will come about five to 10 minutes before the event is gonna start. And then finally, right before we do the event, we'll let everybody know what the event is and how we're gonna execute it. After talking with several brides from past weddings, the feedback that they gave us was the following. They didn't know how important it was to have a good MC. They had a planner, but they needed somebody to make sure that somebody could execute those events. In my professional opinion, a good MC is a lot more important than a perfect playlist. Many of the vendors at your wedding are gonna be dependent on a good MC to make sure everything is organized and keep events flowing. A good MC will go around the room, introduce themselves to all the other vendors to make sure that they have good communication throughout the night. When looking to hire a DJ company, the MC is only as good of the microphone that he's speaking from. With our company, we use top of the line professional microphones that you'll see at concerts. This ensures that there is no dropout no matter where the microphone is being placed in the room. There's a limit about 300 feet, but this covers most of the rooms. You don't want a bad microphone or cutout to ruin speeches or a ceremony. In our forums, you can specify what type of MC that you would like to have for your event so that way it matches your guys' personality. If you have any more questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you.